In November 2022, Ganjibe village in Talata Mafara, local government area in Zamfara state, was shattered by an act of violence that would forever negatively change the lives of a family. Armed bandits riding on about 60 motorcycles invaded the residence of a member of the Zamfara State House of Assembly in a brutal display of terror. They abducted his wife and their four young children. The abductees were taken to an unknown forest throughout their captivity. These children were sustained on meager rations of maize and salt, drinking water from a nearby stream. While in captivity, their mother gave birth under extremely harsh conditions, but tragically, the newborn did not survive. Despite the unbearable circumstances, the mother's strength and resolve remained unbroken. One night, during the raining season of 2023, she managed to unchain herself and escaped with two of her children. However, two of her daughters, who recently got freedom, were left in the grip of their captors. However, the Inspector General of Police, Kayode Egbetokun, at a briefing on the successful rescue operation, says it is a direct result of strategic initiatives stemming from advanced intelligence by the Force Intelligence Department and operational tactics from the anti-kidnapping court of Zamfara State Police Command, as well as tactical support from the Nigerian Air Force 215 FOB that led to the locations and self-rescue of these minors. We are resolute in our quest to dismantle criminal networks and ensure that justice is served. To the families affected by these crimes, we express our deepest sympathies and assurances that your pain is our pain. Your resilience in the face of such adversity inspires us to intensify our efforts. We stand with you and we will continue to fight tirelessly to ensure that no child, no mother, no father, no family has to endure such horrors again. IGP Egberto Kuhn assures that the force, in collaboration with other law enforcement and security agencies, will not relent in its effort to provide a safe and secure environment for all. Rebecca Goffey, reporting for BTV News.